Louisville Metro Police are launching a professional standards investigation after that arrest caught on video showed an LMPD officer punching a man in the face. Tonight, hear what the governor had to say about the video. But first, the night team's Heather Fountain talks to the man who was arrested. One punch by a Louisville Metro Police officer, then a second, a third, a fourth. No! Each caught on video during this arrest at Jefferson Square Park on Sunday. That first trip that they tried to hit me, like I'm like, dang, they really trying to <laughs> make an example. They trying to do me bad. According to the police report, D. Garrett was causing a disturbance to the public while holding a large wooden cross in the middle of the street. This photo shows him within the crosswalk. He was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. I was defenseless. I told him, like, man, I'm not resisting arrest. You know, I'm not resisting arrest. Garrett was released from jail early Monday morning. His right knee wrapped up and his eye swollen. Your hands together now. The arrest report says Garrett was told to put his hands together close enough to put handcuffs on. He argues his broad shoulders made it difficult to do so. After a few moments, he's thrown to the ground by several officers. They broke his glasses into his eye. Friends who were there still traumatized. It's just hard. And his attorney, David Maurer, wants to see the officer who threw the punch punished. This officer needs to be immediately suspended without pay, pending the outcome of a criminal investigation. You know that there is no way that this is an appropriate and proper use of force. This video caught the eye of Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, who called these photos of Garrett's injuries concerning during a press conference on Monday. We need to analyze it. If it's wrong, we need to admit it and we need to learn from it. LMPD Chief Erica Shields released a statement hours after the incident, saying these strikes to the face raise serious questions and are not consistent with LMPD training. She said a professional standards investigation will begin immediately. I have the right to protest and I'm gonna keep doing it. For the night team, I'm Heather Fountain.